Hi everyone, my name is Rich Hansen. I'm the marketing director at Ebonite International, and we're here today to talk about a very exciting product coming from Columbia 300, and it's the Swerve. The Swerve features a lot of new technology going on in it. We have a brand new cover, a brand new core, and even more importantly, we have a material called Hypershock technology that is wrapped around that core. We're gonna play a ball video for you real quick, but really pay attention to how the ball goes through the pins, and you're gonna see an unbelievable amount of different pin carry than you've seen before. The swerve from Columbia 300, because how the ball goes through the pins matters. The Columbia 300 Swerve is all new from the ground up, featuring the exciting new Hypershock technology, reflex cover stock, and the engine behind it all, the new Swerve Core. Hypershock technology is an energy enhancement material added to the outer core to help power the ball through the pins. This viscoelastic material works to control the influence pins have on the ball's motion through the pin deck. The Swerve, with Hypershock technology, not only gets you to the pocket, but drives through the pins like no other bowling ball. Working in tandem with Hypershock technology is the new Reflex cover stock. Reflex is a high traction cover stock designed to transfer greater amounts of energy directly to the core through its enhanced crosslink polymer matrix. Finally, we have the new Swerve core. For this core, we lowered the strength of the mass bias to make it more driller friendly and allow the core to perform well for the masses. This core yields a slightly stronger mid-lane read than the typical symmetrical shape, while maintaining the predictability symmetrical balls provide. All right, welcome back everyone. I'm Rich Hansen once again, and I've got um, R&D Vice President um, Randy Tightlock with me, and I have Ball Development Manager Nick Tomaszewski. I mean, that video is just amazing. Watching that ball go down the lane, it reads all the right parts of the lane, but it's not just that. It's really, what's really different about this ball is, is how the ball goes through the pins. I mean, the pin action was just unbelievable. You see pins sliding around, flying all over the deck, mm -hmm. and that hyper technology is really going to make this ball stand out compared to the competition. Yeah, it's pretty amazing. This this is one of the one of the most exciting things that we've done as far as the development uh, within a product. Uh, and it's amazing to see that ball striking so much. But there is a story behind that, and that story is the hypershock material that we've added into the core itself. This material basically just transforms the way the ball and pin interact with each other. You're going to see differences in ball pin interaction, but you're also going to see some things that are going to be different as, as well with the ball path as well. So there's going to be some exciting new things development from here 
Now we spend a lot of time developing products and changing the characteristics of performance features about getting the ball out of the bowler's hand down to the pin deck. And what we've done with this ball is design looked at it and said, you know what, what can we do in modifying the interaction between the ball and the pin back in the pit area? And that's what we've done, come up with this. And with that, we've added a brand new material. But instead of just talking about it, let's show a demonstration. If you'll grab that yeah. ball half right there. Yep. What I've got here is basically a representation of the uh, additive that we've put inside the ball. And what these are, we've made these balls up. They're basically rubber balls. One is just a natural material. One actually has this additive built into it. And even though these look the same, they feel the same. Let me check them out. Kind of, it's hard to tell them apart from one another. But basically, when you see these balls drop, you'll see the effect of this hypershock material has on the performance of the material and will actually have on the performance's core and the ball in total. All right, I'm going to drop the first one here. So what's and that represent? This basically represents a normal standard core that you see in the industry. And all that has a rebound characteristic and an energy transfer signature that is just kind of what everybody's been used to seeing. There's not been any, a little bit changes to that characteristics over time. However, with the additive, wow, what a huge that's difference. Pretty cool. Unbelievable amount of difference that you see. And that's what we have here. This is a swerve core. And this swerve core basically ha has been modified just like these two balls here. This basically has this additive built into here and it's going to make a huge impact on what the ball does in the pit area. So explain to me, this is the normal material, the one that really bounces. Mm -hmm. And so how is that different from the material that, that has this more, well, I mean really it's a more of a, a much more harder impact with that ball. What are we going to see different when this ball goes to the pins than we're seeing from this, this standard ball? Well, from a technical standpoint, it's we could spend probably the rest of the afternoon kind of talking <laughs> about it and showing different things um, about the uh, characteristics, how it modifies it. But some of that's a little bit a secret and don't need to let that cat out of the bag. But I tell you what, better yet, why don't we basically show you what those differences are? We did some high speed uh, footage and we did it in a controlled environment so that we could actually test the differences between a standard core and the swerve core, how it impacts that. And we got some high speed bit video footage and all to show you now. So let's take a look at that. All right. What you'll see in this video is a ex controlled experiment that we set up. We kept the ball weights, the top weights, the ball velocity interacting with the pins consistent so we could truly measure the difference between industry standard cores and a hypershock technology core. And what you'll notice with the markers on here is that you're gonna see a huge difference between where the pins are relative to one another. The red markers are the industry standard and the green markers are the hypershock technology core. And what that translates to is when the ball is actually interacting with the pins, this ball gives the ability to better push the pins back than it does with the industry standard cores. So Randy, we just watched that video, and, and the first ball is of uh, a standard cord ball going to the pin, and it makes its impact, and it, and it pushes a ball. Um, then we rolled the second bowling ball down the lane, and it, it made impact with the pin, and it had that hypershock material in there. And it, and it literally flew further and with more force back away from the bowling ball. Can I explain a little more about what's going on there? Well, basically what happens is, is that the bowling ball basically is the mechanism that has the energy. And whenever it interacts with the pin, it's trying to basically push the pin away from itself and get it out of the way. But in so doing, it actually is able to transfer energy to the pin. By placing this additive in here, what we were able to do is basically impart more energy, have that contact between the pin and the ball last for a little longer so that there's more energy being delivered to the pin. So the pin has actually got uh, a lot more velocity as it exits that contact between those two. So literally what happens is, is that this pin's gonna move off, but then it's gonna hit all the other pins, and as the ball hits the other pins themselves, literally is gonna act like a sweep, pushing those pins back off the deck. And so kinda of like in this demonstration we showed a minute ago with the bouncing balls, the ball that bounces really high is, is kinda of showing a ball deflecting, the bowling ball deflecting off the pins. Right. The ball that's stuck is more of the, the bowling ball plowing through the pins exactly. and giving better pin carry. Exactly. Awesome. Now, 
the bowling ball is more than just that, the HyperCheck technology. Let's also talk about, we have the cover sock and we have the core. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the core with Nick Tomaszewski. Explain Absolutely. to us how we got to the core, the RGs, the differentials, and all that good stuff. Yeah, so basically we, we wanted to keep that energy factor going through the pins. So we actually use new technology to look through the pins. You know, with CATS data and all the other type of video data out there right now, you can really only see the ball motion through the lane. You know, as the ball's going down the lane, what is it doing, the position and its velocity? Well, we've actually created a new, new product, new technology called the Bowler ID. Um, and by using that data, we've actually been able to see how the pin can go through, how the ball can actually go through the pins. Um, so in the development stages, we actually wanted to do two things. How can we retain the energy of the ball going down the lane? And also, how can we have the bowler apply more energy to the bowling ball itself? So basically, with, with the physics numbers on this, we've basically created a core that's at 247 of the RG, uh, diffs at 052, and the mass bias we kept down low, so we'll retain that energy through the mid lanes. Um, and also makes it really driller friendly. I mean, this core is not really, you know, one of those cores where a layout really won't work on it. We, we've tested this with all different layouts, and they're really, really good on all of them. Um, but, you know, really, how can you create more energy off the bowl than what they apply to it? So we actually created what was called a, a lever effect. And by positioning the mass of the property of the, of the core closer to the palm of the hand, you can actually generate more momentum as that ball is coming off that bowler's hand. So this ball is really all about energy. How can you provide more energy and how can it store more energy as it's going down the lane? You know, and that's something that's never really been done in the combination of, of the three things we have here with the core itself, the outer core, and then the cover stock as well. So, I mean, this is something that's really cool, really cool technology. Um, we've heard a lot of good feedback in testing and, and we're really excited about this core and the, and the outer core as well in this combination of product. So, summary, we have a, a lower RG core. Yep. It's going to rev up really good for bowlers. It's going to roll. The key is, is maximizing and in, 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 in harnessing that energy of the bowling ball. Absolutely. Yeah. we got a good differential, so we're going to have a good, strong overall hook. Yep. And the, the mass bias is lower, so we don't use up that energy in the mid lane. We help Absolutely. also maintain more energy for the back Absolutely. end. Yep. And more importantly, through the pins. Yep. Absolutely. Awesome. That's, that's where we're at. Um, now, of course, is the cover, the, the final piece of, of, the, of the puzzle here. Uh, we have... We have the Swerve Core, we have, it's wrapped around with HyperCheck technology. Um, this new cover, Reflex, why don't you explain the benefits there of, of really what we did to create this and, and make this perfect piece called the Swerve. In order to basically um, facilitate good energy uh, trans transfer between uh, the ball and the pin and actually activate this core so that this core does its job well, we had to transform this cover stock. So we had to basically make it a better energy conductor. Usually polymers are a good insulator, you know, kind of characteristics that they embody. But in order to basically transform this, we had to basically create a denser polymer matrix so that there were struts and, and channels so that the energy that from on impact would actually go into the core, the core does its thing, and actually can transmit that energy kick back out into it as well. And basically, for the, for the most part, it's important about the performance of the ball. We don't want to forget that, in other words, and talking about the traction and characteristics, this is one of these type of covers that actually does read the lane well, not overread it, but it's very strong and good continuous ball motion through there. Uh, so that's important as well too. But the neat factor in there is basically facilitating the marriage between the shell and the core so the core can do what it needs to do. Now I know what a lot of you might be thinking is that, well if a core is actually shielded by the shell, how's there going to be a real difference between there and how that can do that? And I've got a demonstration in here. These are these same two examples that we showed you before of the ball basically without the material and with material. And what I'm going to do is show you. This is actually a Newton's cradle and it's actually an energy transfer system. So like the shell material, it's got material that's made up out, outside here. It's going to strike these balls and actually you're going to see a difference between the performance of those. So what I've got here is standard type cores, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up against these right here, and I'm going to drop this back over here, and I'll do it a few more times, and that way you can see the springiness and change of that, uh, how that interacts. Then I'm going to take this, I'll give you this one, show you that this was actually the ball that actually has the additive end through here, and what you're going to see is a huge difference between how it acts. Oh, wow. There's really no recoil at all on that, that ball. It's done. So basically, the core itself has a good, 
needs the facilitation of being able to have a good transfer into here so it can work and do. And a core can actually create dynamics and differences from, from what the outside of the ball is doing as well. Okay. Huge, huge difference. Well, that's awesome. Um, thanks, Randy, for explaining a lot of that to us. Um, Nick, thanks for explaining the core and then how that all creates the system. Um, for more information about the Swerve, uh, look forward to coming on the Facebook, on all our social media um, outlets. Um, come to the website, find out more information about that. There's going to be a lot of great promotions behind this product going forward. So look for that coming from your DSMs and your national sales manager. And once again, thank everyone for their time today, and uh, we appreciate your business.